Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. You wouldn't know how to be a mother. Not with that figure. Ugh, oh, this place stinks. Right. Now I have the character point. Uh thirty-five, thirty. Let's put that there for oh there for now. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Oh, hello. That's fucking bright. I'm going to sneeze, and it's going to be loud. Hold on. And I'm back. Apologies for that. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Oh. It smells as bad as it looks. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Okay, I wish it gave me a little notification saying that I completed. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Okay. What happened here? Someone punched a mirror. Just take it a guess. Right. Any more shiny, shiny clues? Be really nice. No. Okay. Yay, character point. Alright. Let's, uh... Right. Think. Uh... Put it in eloquence for now, I think. point. How's my sanity doing? <laughs> Stable. Good to know. Wonder if I, uh... <clears throat> Let's have a look at our clues again. Officially unused since Charles Hawkins' death, this warehouse recently housed a clandestine resident. Signs of life have tested that fact. The presence of bloodstained bandages will be noted. Probably removed from a wound, as well as pills, painkillers, and sleeping pills. However, the occupant seems to be served with Sarah Hawkins, as has tested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's life. Uh, photograph and press cutting. But it's the, the discovery of a, of a <clears throat> badly charred painting, having recognised by Officer Bradley as having come from the Hawkins mansion, which that allows all doubts to be lifted as to the link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case. Right. The deal with cat. Ugh. Well, oh, wait, what was that? I found a partially. Smashed all these to be the But as if a creature caught hold of me. Nope. So that's all that's in here. There's even less light. 
Did I go back into reconstruction mode? No. Okay. It's not an upstairs. But I'm pretty sure there's a tunnel somewhere. Can I go out that door? No, that's understandable. There's police guard again. Right, let's go this way. Uh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yeah, me. Don't move. You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. Oh, for fuck's sake. To be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. <laughs> Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. <coughs> you want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Oh, the one Andrews, that's blocking my way through the rest. Please shut the door. And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. Eh, yeah, sort of. God damn it. Her again. <laughs> this case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? I had no choice. I went to go leave and then he you, came in. At the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Yeah, <sighs> right. Hey, chapter three. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned revealed some surprises. Uh, recent signs of occupation, as well as partially charred build, partly charred building, interrupting a search by. Interrupted in a search by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join the investigation. Police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. Oh, so he is cooperating now. Right, okay. That wasn't abundantly clear. <laughs> but there we are. Oh, well. Right. <clears throat> it's the problem, I think. I'm going to have with this is that I've got an, an, uh, one of the uh, quite an old generation Xbox, so it's going to be a bit of a bugger when it comes to loading times, unfortunately. Oh, surprisingly not. It must be a small level then. Then again, it's kind of normal for uh, Cthulhu games to do this. You start off slow and then it builds up.
Must be the old man who takes care of the grounds. Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? Well, I've got other questions, don't worry. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? <clears throat> I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, oh, he's shit. a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? All right, all right, let's go. Quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. No secret. Yes, let's use a lighter at the site of a, you know. Burn of a fire. That seems reasonable. Okay. I can't see my own legs. Immersion has been, been broken. New, new, new motion. Right. Can I interact with this? This feels somewhat important. Okay, hello music. Oh, press and hold. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you, Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Unless it was Silas. 
Uh, okay, mate. Did you see the thing Travis posted the Discord? Uh, I don't know what the fuck is what the fuck is on about, but I'm skipped. Well, uh, we'll find out on Saturday, won't we, boy? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above... The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Oh, you were in the middle of a monologue, I apologize. Not really. Poor kid. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> monologue, monologue. Poor kid. Okay. Hey. Right. You ready? Apparently it's a popular name. Wait, right, are you... You okay? At your moment? You done? You ready? Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. Or as I say, I have to do something. The caretaker takes great care of these graves. Okay, do I need to do something here? Raven. I uh, think I need to make a move before anything else will happen. Possibly. Maybe. Yeah, I think that guy's just going to stay there unless there's an event trigger. Right, okay, well, let's press on, shall we? It's probably going to come in a cutscene now. Still not arrived. Okay. Uh, I'll have to find another entrance. Really? Right. <coughs> Crow. Hmm. Are you still down there? Yeah, you are. Right, okay. <clears throat> well, Silas, it's the name of the lich we are after. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I'll meet him soon then. Oh, for the. Another kind of, Another. Someone else named Zardus. Hello. Oh, garden. No, a chair. Okay. Right. Garden furniture. Wow, this gives off no light to that side, does it? This entrance is still in use. That'll be Silas. Whoa! 
You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? 